Okay, let's come back and give a variation on that, something similar to this guy here. This is known as Arago's motor because you're actually making something move. Uh, well, a couple of hundred years ago, same idea. This is not magnetic, it's just the bottom of a coke can, right? And it's got a small friction, a small, a small friction surface down at the bottom, so it can move relatively easy. It is not magnetic, okay? And yet all I do is something like this, spin it around like this. It's known as Arago's motor and you should be able to explain what's happening. So once again, in this case, North Pole here, EMF number one, current number two, magnetic field number three. In this case, it's moving away from it. So it's trying to oppose. This is coming close to it with a North Pole. To try and prevent that North Pole coming close to it, what would be induced here? North Pole. A North Pole. So now what you've got is two North Poles. That North Pole is moving in that direction. This one is being repelled from it, so it's moving away. Okay. And one final demonstration is this guy here, and again, it's, it's come up in the past. If I move this in towards the can, what will be in the North Pole here, what will be induced in this surface of the can? A North Pole, because you're trying to oppose this guy going into it, so you want the two to repel each other. If it's inside and moving out, so you've got a North Pole moving outwards, what will be induced here? Because it's trying to prevent the, the, the movement and prevent the movement will be in North Pole. So this doesn't work very noticeably, but if I just try and do it, one, two, three, if I move it quickly, and I don't know if that's because I said three in a tree fashion, but we're going to assume the reason it moved was because the magnet moved in and out. Okay, so a couple of variations on Linz's law experiments, and the last one we're going to do while we're here. Ah! Oh, that's going to hurt in the morning. <laughs>